Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 10th Node.js tutorial and in this video we're going to go ahead and create and remove directories. Alright guys, so in the last tutorial what we did was we read these files and we wrote these files. Now in this tutorial what I want to do is show you how we can create and remove directories. But before we do that I want to show you one more thing that we can do with these files and that is how to delete them. So the way we delete them is again by using this fs module and we can use a method called unlink. So I can say fs.unlink and then we pass through the name of the file we want to delete. Now because I'm sitting in the same directory as these files I can just pass in the file name which is going to be writeme.txt. So if I save this now and run it through node by saying node app then this should go ahead and delete that writeme file which it did. Cool. But be careful, because if I run this again, then I'm going to get an error. And it says right here, no such file or directory. And that's because we've already deleted this file. So it's trying to delete it again, even though it doesn't exist. So just be careful that if you're using this method, that the file you're trying to delete actually exists. Otherwise, you will get this error. OK, cool. So we've deleted the file. Now let's move on to creating directories. And there's two ways of doing this synchronously or asynchronously. So again, I'm going to go through the synchronous versions. First of all, then we'll take a look at the asynchronous versions later on. So let's create a directory. So we'll use the FS module. And the way we create a directory is by saying MKDIR, which stands for make directory. And then we say sync. This is a synchronous method. Like I said, node is very explicit in its method names. So what we need to pass through here is the directory name that we want to create. Now I'm just going to call this directory stuff. So if I save this now and say node app, this is going to run through node and go ahead and create that directory. And we can see it pop up right there, stuff. Cool. So then how do we delete directories? Well, we just replaced MK with RM, which stands for remove. And I'm going to remove this stuff directory. So let's save it. I'll run this again through node by saying node app. And now you'll notice that stuff directory has been removed. So this is how we do it synchronously. And remember, that's going to block up the code. So ideally, we want to work asynchronously where we can. So let's change these into asynchronous methods. And the way we do that is just by removing the sync word from it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make a directory, mk, asynchronously. And remember, when we use asynchronous methods, we should use a callback function to do something once this action has been completed. And we can pass that callback function through here as the second parameter. And then we'll do something once it's created this directory. Now, what I want to do is go ahead and read this readme.file, readme.txt file rather. So I'll say fs.read file. We did this in the last tutorial. And the file we want to read is readme.txt and then remember we need to say the utf8 encoding and then we fire a callback function once this is complete as well so it's error first in the parameters and then it's the data we retrieve so first of all uh, first of all we're making this directory stuff then when it's complete we're reading this file here and we're getting the data so we can fire this callback function when it's finished reading the file and pass the data through, which I then want to do, uh, which I then want to pass through into a new file and create that file in the stuff directory. So I'm going to say fs.write file this time, and this is going to write a file in this directory. And again, we learned this in the last tutorial. So I can say it's in the dot forward slash stuff directory. Then the file name is going to be write me txt and what I want to write to this file is the data that we receive right here that we read so let's go ahead and save this and run it through node by saying node app and now you're going to notice it first of all creates this directory then it reads this file and then it's going to create this writeme.txt file and the contents is in it cool so this is now an asynchronous way to create a directory and do other stuff in between so let's go ahead and delete this directory now. So we'll say fs.rmdir, and then we're going to remove this directory, stuff. 
Now, if I run this, what do you think will happen? Is it just going to go ahead and remove this stuff directory and whatever's inside it? Well, let's give it a whirl. Node app. And you'll notice an error. And the error is saying the directory is not empty. So we can't remove a directory without it being empty. So we need to get rid of this thing first of all. And remember, I showed you before, we can say fs.unlink to remove a particular file. And it's in the dot forward slash stuff directory. Then it's write me dot txt. And we're going to remove that file. And then we can pass in a callback function as the second parameter or right here. And then once we've removed that file, we can go ahead and remove the directory. So let's save that and run it through node one more time, node app. And it goes ahead, removes the uh, file first of all, and then the stuff folder disappears as well. That was just Atom catching up. All right, that's why we still saw it on the left. But when I clicked on it, it disappeared. So that is how we remove a directory using the async method as well. Cool, so now we've seen how to remove files, create directories and remove directories. Any questions, leave those down below. Otherwise guys, I'll see you in the next tutorial.